Hey guys, what's happening? So, if you've been watching my channel at all, um, you'll know that I actually like to restore these old nitro engines, RC car engines, and one of the issues I have is, with some of these engines that are 15, 20 years old, is that the rubber just becomes hard. And, I mean, these are parts you just cannot find. I mean, they're impossible to find little gaskets, and uh, so I thought I'd show you how, how we restore these and soften them up. The problem is the plasticizers out of the rubber they leach out and they become difficult or they become unpliable but like some of these parts you just cannot get the rubber off and if you even attempt to get the rubber off of there you're going to break the seal so what I'm going to show you is how I soften them up without having to remove the rubber I mean the stuff that I can remove I remove but like some of these little needles and stuff you know I mean those things you're, if you try to pull that rubber off you're going to break the seal it will break so I'm going to show you uh, what I do here, so I'm going to put these in a little uh, Ziploc baggie, a little silicone, and let it sit for a couple days. Um, yeah, because some of these gaskets, I mean, if you can find the gasket, like this little gasket cost like, like seven or eight bucks plus shipping. Like this right here is like five bucks. Even though you could probably go to Home Depot and maybe get a different one, but like this one you're not going to find at Home Depot. So, um, alright, so I'm going to show you what I do here. Alright, so I use all the silicone. Spray it in the bag. You can keep the silicone for later. Hopefully this doesn't hold in this bag. Let's let it soak for a couple days. And uh, come back in a couple days, we'll test it out. I'm gonna keep on I'm gonna kinda move it around a little bit. Every uh, few hours maybe if I'm in here. Alright guys, time to put the engine back together. I mean, I did get some new parts here for the engine build that I'm doing, but I mean, the, the rubber is noticeably softer. Dramatically softer. Um, silicone is not a really dramatic fix. Uh, I mean, it usually takes anywhere from like three to, to three days to a week. Um, if you wanted something that was dramatic, but sort of eats away at the rubber and it's not the best solution, I mean, if you have the time to do it, then you should let it soak in silicone. But, uh, I mean, any sort of like a WD-40 or PB Blaster, any sort of like heavy, like a, like a, uh, like a penetrant would definitely make it this actually work faster. But, but like I said, it, it also eats away at the rubber. So it would actually, uh, I would only use that as like an emergency, but, right, right, I mean, like I said, this, this, this is dramatically softer. Um, and this has only been in for a couple of days. So if you can actually let it sit here for a week or more and just constantly kind of be working in and out, I mean, it already feels way softer, so... Right, yeah, you, you gotta let the uh, the product actually soak into the rubber. Alright guys, cool, hope that this video helps somebody. I've um, been doing this for years, so um, had pretty good luck with it. So, alright guys, awesome.